Hello students. Today I would like to introduce a new topic, a new poem in front of you. If. Understood? The poem title, If I Yuff. That's interesting, is it? Okay. This is our first poem, is it? Right. Fine. So, want to know who is the author, I mean the poet, who contributed this one to me or us? Okay. About the other, Joseph Rudyard Kipling. Have you heard about Joseph Rudyard Kipling? Mostly known as Kipling, as have you heard about that? Maybe your younger ages, younger class, you can call it that Joseph Rudyard Kipling. Was born in, was here, was born in the year, see that. Just look at the textbook, please. Yeah, 1865. 1936, all right, was an English short story writer. He was an English short story writer, right? Then poet and novelist. Oh, this is the same thing as a short story writer, poet and novelist. You can say that. He was not only short story writer, but also poet and novelist. You can uh, uh, join this sentence, that is a uh, Things you want to do that not only but also is a another word we can call in grammar right linkers okay so have you heard about linkers yes not only but also as well as if uh, because so that uh, either nor etc we can consider it as a linkers or join word we can call as join word or linkers you must you know a little bit grammar about English linkers and join word Linkers or join word, okay, right? So Joseph Rudyard Kipling was an English short story writer, poet, and novelist. He is uh, chiefly what? He is chiefly remembered for his tales. Tale means short stories, yeah, and poems of British soldiers in India, and his tale for children. He specialized for a tale for children and his background of British soldiers while he was in India. Because he was a British, when uh, when India was under the control of the British, he was here. Okay. Kipling's Eve perhaps is the most famous poem. Okay. Attracted immediate nationwide attention and soon became a popular anthem. All oh, right, it's a, just like an anthem, national anthem, just like anthem. Really, if you have to read one sentence to one line to another line, each stanza, it just says about some kinds of uh, advice. Is it understood? So, you want to know about what is if, we are eagerly waiting for what is if, Rudyard Kipling says to us. Isn't it? So, it just says about if, so if it was written by English poet, novelist, short story writer, who is that? Joseph Rudyard Kipling. All right, Joseph Rudyard Kipling written if we want to know the summary, right? Yes, we want to know that. What was Joseph Rudyard Kipling said to us? Okay. It was, uh, what is that? It was in the way of advice. Do you like advice? Never, 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 isn't it? Yes, advice is sometimes boring. But here, Joseph Rudyard Kipling says about advice. That means, actually, it is a the poem if was written by an English poet Rudyard Kipling. We understood that well. It's a beautiful lyric. All right, it's said to be. I don't know what do you feel at. Like? It is written is in the form of advice given to a son by his father. Not at the point. What is that? It is in the form of advice. The poem is in the poem form of advice. Given to whom? To whom? Given to a son by his father. Father gives advice to his son. Maybe your parents give advice to you. Did you? Yes. How did you feel? You will obey all this fact or not? 
Yeah, okay, that depends upon you. Right here, Father Edu is his son. What is maybe the content of this advice? The father wants his son to become a perfect gentleman with all good qualities. All good qualities, that is the things he hears. That means the father wants his son to become a perfect gentleman with all good qualities. Perfect gentleman with all good qualities. That means father wants his son or is that perfect gentleman with all good qualities. That is the content of advice. So we already said it that, we already said it that, what is that? If is a form in the way of advice, all right, and it is advice given from father to his son. For what? To become a perfect gentleman with all good qualities. So you understood what is if? This advice one, father advice to his son. For what? Yes, perfect gentleman with all good qualities. Qualities, right, fine. The father wants his son to be calm even when others blame him. That is the first advice. If anybody blame you, son, what you will do? You will become calm. That is the first advice. What was the first advice? Remember, very important poem. Too much question will ask. So be careful. Each word meaning they will ask the question. That's why I am again and again saying, listen carefully. Very important poem. Okay? Father, first advice, what is that? If anybody blame you, you should be calm. Don't be angry. Very, uh, what is that? Simple one. Remember that one. What is that? If everyone, everyone uh, blame you, that means you do like that, you, that's very bad, uh, like that, like that. If anybody blame you, what you will do? You should be calm. Calm means very silent, without angry. Right? When people doubt you, you should trust himself. When people doubt him, that is the second advice. When people doubt him, okay, what, what's, what he will do? That means here his father gives to his son advice. But we must be know the advice. What is that? When people doubt him, he should be trust himself. Yes, if any people have to doubt him, then he should be trust himself. Clear? That is a very important thing. So you must be know that. Right, then. What is the other one? Second advice is that when people doubt him, he should trust himself. Then third one, what is that advice? He should not tell lies. Should not tell. Never, never tell lies. But we are like that. We are not like that, no. We are sometimes we are telling or told lies, is it? But the father said to his son, the third advice is that don't tell, don't be tell lies. Okay? Should be truth. You only say truth, don't tell lies. Okay? That is another advice. The next advice, he should have patience. He should have patience. Patience means? Yes. Definitely, we have patience. We got everything. We can success with patience only. Do you like that, such kinds of quality? Do you have such kinds of quality students? Patience. No? Yeah, most of them not. Is it? Yes. Should I have patience. Okay, that's another advice. And the next advice, dreams are good, but they should not be allowed to become his master. Dreams are good for everyone. We can buy without payment. Is it? Dreams can buy. Dreams are good, but don't dreams control you. That means don't dreams your master. Don't control dreams your master. That's the worst. That's bad according to him. You can dream, but you never, never consider the dreams is, it is your master. That's another one. 
Next, thinking also is good, but thought alone should not be his same. Thinking is good, but that thought, don't think that that is the aim. That is only the aim, don't think that. Thinking is good, but don't think that that is only the aim. Okay, next advice. You should keep a balanced attitude towards success and failure. That means if you are success, next will comes failure. So, success and failure are two sides of a coin, isn't it? Head and tail, both are one coin side, is it? Similarly, if you are success, we won't wait. Sometimes there comes failure. Failure may be follow you. So success and failure are very close, I mean, very near to you. Sometimes you got success, definitely they will be getting some kind of failure. Sometimes if you are failure, definitely you will get success. So success and failure are two aspects. That means two sides of one coin, right? Yes, that means you don't uh, forget. If you're success, you are happy. You forget everything. I ah, success. I got marks. I passed examination. I got money. I got wealth. I got everything in my life. Don't, don't do, do, don't do, don't do, don't do. Never, 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 ever, ever. Because the failure is follow you. Failure is very near to you. Any time it will happen. So, same time, if you do failure, you are not disappointed. Oh, everything is gone. I lost my exam. I lost my marks. I lost my life. Don't think like that because sometimes success is full of you. Success, success is very near to you. So, he considered, he advised his son. The father advised his son. Success and failure are very near. Okay. So, you should have to support both. Don't support success only, you support failure. You should accept failure also, you should accept success also. That means accept, that is the correct word. You should accept failure and you should accept success also in your life. Yeah. Next, if all his winning are lost all of a sudden, you should not get upset. Yes, that's I told. If you lost everything, if you lost house, if you lost money, if you lost your beloved, if you lost your parents, or if you lost your everything, you don't upset. Maybe you are upset that we are human being, but poets say that a father is his son. If such a situation, don't be upset. Be calm. Be cool. Don't upset. You should start from the beginning and find success again. Yes, if you are. Lost everything. We can start from the from the beginning. Don't worry. We can earn money. We can earn everything. If you have confidence, if you have courage, if you have determination, we can get it everything. Don't be upset. Okay. We can start from the beginning. Okay. So this is these are the advice given by father to son. Not stop. It's continuing. When he talks with his ordinary people, yes. What happened? When he talks ordinary people. He should keep his dignity. Yes. That means you talk in ordinary people should keep your dignity. Don't lose your dignity. Okay. Dignity means honor and uh, weight. When he walks with the kings, what happened? If you if you walk with the kings means if you walk with the rich people, you don't forget poor people. That means you lost, don't uh, lost your touch with common people. Your king means rich people. Common people means here poor people. So, king means here rich people. If you walk with the uh, rich people, if you have contact with the rich people, if you have friendship with the rich people, don't forget common people. You should be keep in touch with common people. Okay. Next advice, neither his friends nor his enemies should be able to hurt him. Maybe your friend hurt you. Maybe your enemies also hurt you. But at that time, you should be calm. All men should be able to count on his help. All men should 
uh, that been waiting for your RPG is connected to common people also and at the same time also same time this rich people also maybe seek your help you should not offend people even he is offended by them if he does all these things he can become perfect man yes you should not offend people even if he is offended by them okay if he does all these things he can become a perfect man so how you became a perfect man if you follow this son then you will become a perfect gentleman and perfect quality man so you should follow this in your life you should perfect or a perfect gentleman or you may quay all kinds of good human qualities that is the or that was advice given by father to his son so this is the summary of this poem so i will just give what is a uh, just to read the name a lines or stanza this is content if this you know about the content then only you can know the fact of the story of the poem if so that's why i had told you to listen carefully while they say the summary and i also send you what is the exact summary of this that's in the way of appreciation appreciation is very important part here i will give this how to write the appreciation is here see that this is a style of appreciation how to introduction brief summary uh, all other things are here okay don't write the appreciation in in your own way you should write the appreciation like this way then only you will get the full marks otherwise you will never get full marks so when you write in english you should be very careful don't same way in the 10th 9th standard way it is quite different in plus 1 plus 2 so what is actually want to write only to write the style of writing is quite different the poem writing is different and this uh, uh, appreciation is quite different here is the style of appreciation writing just look at and follow this one right so i will give you some i afterwards that's we want to just read this is only by reading it is not a more important but you have to acquire the knowledge that's only very important thing this is i just read and go okay so what is the says of you if okay read and enjoy we have read about a few great personalities and identify some of the qualities of greatness if a dedicate dedicate means teach something this is a form of teach something which suggests that idea of confidential and fulfillment were the poet to describe the traits traits means quality of a perfect man enjoy reading and the poem so this is the if can i read it yeah just read that one if you can keep your head when all about you are losing this and blaming it on you that's i already told in this summary what is that if you have to blame you you should have to say calm silently calm calmness you should follow okay that is the meaning inner meaning of that one don't go through a uh, lines meaning you should have inner meaning of the poem is very important okay if you can trust yourself when all man doubt you yes that is another thing if you person if you trust you should have to trust yourself that means if anybody has to doubt trust himself that's a very important word okay but make all allowance for this for the doubting too okay if you can wait and you're not too tired by waiting that means you can wait for someone but you don't tired while you are waiting okay being lied about that means don't tell lies already told don't deal in lies that means always true 
for being hated, don't give way to hating. That means if I really hate, you don't be hate that person. Okay? Somebody enemies will hate you, maybe friend will hate you. You never will hate others. And you don't look too good, nor talk too wise. That means when you interfere the people, you should have to keep your dignity and honor. Don't talk too much. Don't don't not to talk too much and at the same time should be talk very meagerly, very little. That's a very good dignity. All right. And the next, if you can dream, don't dream to become your master. I already told. Okay. If you can think, don't, uh, that is your aim. Okay. Don't think that is your aim. Okay. If you can meet with the triumph and disaster, triumph and disaster, I call triumph means success, disaster means failure. That's a very good success and failure is part and part. I already told. Whenever the success then follow, there should be a shadow of failure. Whenever you have failure, there should be a shadow of follow success. So both are each, both are, I told that one, what is that? Uh, two sides of one coin. Similarly, triumph and disaster, that means success and failure. If you use success and failure, another word is that triumph and disaster. Don't confuse that one. It should be by her triumph and disaster. Okay. And treat those who imposters just the same. Imposters means don't, uh, they mean some people in the society acting. Actors, you know, they act simply love to you. They act simply in good manners. But actually they, inside there is no love exactly. There's some, be careful about the actors. It's also another advice. Imposters means actors. Sometimes question will come out. What do you mean by imposter in this? What do you, means actors, right there. What do you mean by triumph? What do you mean by disaster? If you can bear or hear the truth you have spoken, that means should we speak truth only, twisted by knaves to make a trap for fools. That means you be careful. Sometimes this trap is there. Trap means, you know, yes, uh, we are fall in trap. Is it sometimes there? Smiling sometimes may laugh, sometimes may speak very nicely, sometimes may act very nicely, but you very careful, sometimes it will be a trap. Be careful. Or which things you have gave your life to, broken and stoop. Stoop means bend it and build them with a worn out tools. That means if you have to destroy everything. In our life we have faced several challenges. Maybe we are destroyed. So don't worry, don't upset. Don't cry again and again. We should be face it. We should have determination, courage, and confidence. And we should be thinking about, I don't allow anything. I will start from the beginning. So that is your mentality. Oh, everything gone, everything gone. I lost my life. I come to suicide. I will die. Don't say like that, okay? Right. That is also another thing you should be very careful. That was another advice given by father to his son. That's the things you have to remember here is that don't forget everything. Don't lose your life. Don't uh, tell I'm dying. I'm stop my life. Don't tell that. Don't upset. It's a foolish activity according to him. And the next line, you want to know that. All right. If you can make one keep, of all your winnings. If you are keeping all of your winnings, so what is this things have to do? If you can make one heap, heap means what? Heap means collection. That means too much things have. Heap of all your winnings and risk it on in the turn to pitch and toss. And lose and start again at your beginnings. And never breathe the word about your loss. That's the says about don't cry again, again. I'm dying. I don't say like that. You should be stand very sternly and say that I don't lose anything. I will start from the beginning. I will acquire everything before I had. Okay. 
So that is everything you have to say. Is that that's a very important thing? Is that all right? And never breathe a word about it. Yes, yes. Never say any word. Breathe means yes. Say any word. I will lose. I will lose. I will lose. Don't worry. I will collect. I will regain. I will acquire everything. I will do. I will do my level best, and I acquire everything. Is that? That's the things also things. If you can force your hurt and never and sinew. Sinew means something get strength, give and support. Support and strength is called sinew. Okay, to serve you were turned long after they are gone, and so hold on when there is nothing in you, except the will which he says them. Hold on, hold on. That means, in uh, we can see that one film in Vijay film in Tamil we can Nanban. He said, "All is well, all is well, all is well." Just like you said that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm never give. Bad thing. I will give only good things. If you can talk with the crowds and keep your virtue, yes, we will keep your virtue. Means good thing. He will say the good things in your crowd. That means group, okay. Or walk with the kings. I already told you. If you have to walk with the rich people, king means your rich people. You never forget about the poor people. You no know, loss of common touch. Common touch means common people, poor people. If neither force, force means enemies, nor loving friends can hurt you. When they are hurt you, enemies and friends, or if all mean count with you, but none too much, don't hurt others. If you can fill this unforgiving and give unforgiving minutes with a sixty second worth of distance runs, that means it says about there. Maybe ask there. What is the two lines indicate? If you can fill the unforgiving minutes with a 60 second worth of distance, and what do you mean by this? This line indicates the importance of time. Time is precious. Time is everything. Sin. Time is precious, and time is everything. We should implement exact time in our life. What will we do? If you have study time, you feel study. If your younger age, you should have school time or college time. You should perfect. Aim is to study and pass, not other. Uh, what is that business? If you are in married life, you should have to faithful and loving with this married life. If you are in old age, you should be in that way. So the everything in our society, in our earth, there should be a, some time is there. So time is very precious, and time is very attractive. Time is very important thing in our day-to-day -day life. So. Don't waste your time. From this time, you should think about time, and useful this time. Don't waste time. The fool is only waste this time. Okay, the intelligent people never waste the time. So that's a very important. So this line, two lines, says about the worth of time means value of time, importance of time. With the sixty-second worth of distance, friends, you will see the earth and everything that's in it, and which is more. You will be a man, my son. Then only you will be a man. You will be a perfect gentleman. You will acquire all good qualities of human life. So that's about the poem. Okay. Yes. So many things has to be understood through this. Through the Arkipling said it very perfectly. How to become a successful in your life with the good qualities or perfect gentleman? What are the things we should follow? What are the things we not for want to follow? Everything we already said it. So that is the end of this one. So uh, here is so many question answer is there. Just to see the question answer, see that. All right, so here is that. Then question answer, uh, word meaning and everything also here and there. So you should be right the appreciation perfectly. Appreciation very important one. And also, I already told what is that. Each line has some inner meaning. The question will ask only for inner meaning. You should write the inner meaning. I will give in the way of appreciation. In this appreciation, uh, there should be inner meaning. Okay, that's fine. Uh, what does the knaves represent here? I will ask one question. Okay, what does the knaves represent? Knaves represent the dishonest people. Like that question comes out. 
dishonest people. That means every time they are talking lies. That, that is a, another advice. Don't tell lies already. Days. That means the people who have say more lies that people we can call as dishonest people here call as knaves. Very important one. Underline and mark that one. Then metaphor used in this poem. So what is there? That's deal in lies. Mark it. Please mark it in the text. Deal in lies. Okay. Metaphor. Okay. Twisted by knaves. Return. Or mark it. One heap of all your winnings. One heap of all your winnings. Breathe a word. Okay. Unforgive minutes. Etc. Okay. Knaves, crowds, kings, common touch, all that metaphoric use. Metaphoric use. Tamil. Knaves. Right? Understood that? Okay. Then what is that? Pick out these expressions versus a poet use personi personification. Yes. Mark it. Tram and disaster as imposters. Tram and disasters as imposters. Will which says hold on. All these are personification. And this, yes, personification, imposters, I already saw. Look too good, nor talk too wise. That is also personification. And uh, metaphor is used and forgiving minutes. All things very important. Question will come. And uh, what's a rhyming scheme? We want to know that first stanza A, 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 B, C, B, C. Second stanza A, B, A, B, C, D, C, D. Third stanza A, B, A, D. C D C D. Fourth stanza A B A D B C D C D. Stanza first and second three have the same rhyming scheme. So in a poem, rhyming scheme, rhyming word, I mean figure of speech or poetic device, appreciation, these are very important. You should have to important for that so you should have to be very careful about this one. What is the theme of the poems? That is an activity board. The central theme of the poem is that qualities that human being should possess to become a perfect man. What according to poet are the two imposters in life? The two imposters in life are triumph and disaster. That means success and failure. Okay, all these things if you want to know that. I, go, I think you got it everything that. See that this guy. What is personification? What is metaphor? What is simple? Is everything is here? And I'll try to appreciation is here. See the question answer. Uh, uh, this is a word meaning, not question answer. This one. This is a word meaning. I will for take a photo in different way. These are the question answer and rhyming scheme, rhyming word, everything. You don't worry if it is cut. It it is the next page. You don't worry. Okay, it is cut. It the next page is should have. Okay, see that. This is also another question answer. See, remember. And also, the another question answer, you should have to write this question answer. Okay. This is another question answer. Remember that once. Okay. Up to this, we have, you should have to study very nicely. This is very important poem. We definitely, will question comes out, our examination, you should study the, the inner meaning and the set of meaning at the same time, small question answer. Figure of speech, rhyming scheme, rhyming word, everything else is this. All right? Don't forget. And also profile of Rudyard Kipling. That's a very important thing. So the central theme, what is that? It was in the way of advice a father give, uh, give to his son to become a, a gentleman or a perfect quality person. So what are the things he advised to his son? We want to know that. How will you become success in your life? And this also very important things has to taste that. Thanks to that. So I hope you will understood. Okay. You write perfectly the notes, then show me personally in your and my WhatsApp number. 
okay still some students didn't show their writings i don't know whether they write or not if you didn't write you will lose c marks and at the same time you cannot understood anything about this class so what is i i will i i did give only the importance only don't waste any other things okay important things only i will give okay that's all today i hope you enjoy my class thank you very much take care bye